Montclair in the winter, Prada in the summer Headliner, collect hunters, we don't Escalade, Chevrolet or Hummer Cut the black Range Rover Have a couple, then the gap takes over Couple friends at your flat staying over Alright, let's have a look see, shall we? Okay, so the Montclair navy jacket I like the design, I like the colour I think the design's pretty classic It's like one of their classic puffers Always looks good Anything I don't like about it no, with this jacket, I actually like it, man. I think it's, it's pretty timeless. You can have this for a long time. I guess it's, it's got a bit of a shine to it, which I think is a bit loud, but I kind of like that, actually. So would I say this is trend or trash? I'm going to say this is trend. Okay, so Montclair swim shorts, £305. I like the colour and the design. I feel like it's it doesn't look like it's obviously Montclair, which is good. They've kind of switched up the logo for this, kind of giving it some sort of like Prada kind of styley. I like what they're doing there. I kind of like the patterns on the on the swim shorts. They look again like a timeless pair of swim shorts. They look like a kind of Indian pattern or some sort of African pattern, something like that. But yeah, I personally like these. I didn't even know Montclair did swim shorts like that. I'd probably rock it like just bare chest out here in one of these islands like Ibiza or Mykonos or one of these places, Miami somewhere. Um, am I gonna say this is trend or trash? I'm gonna say it's trend. Montclair jacket, 1,150 pounds. All right, for this jacket, I feel like it's a bit too expensive. Um, they've kind of got like a kind of biker design. So they've got Montclair going across the whole body of the jacket. It looks like a raincoat, which is why I'm kind of so surprised on the price of it. It's not like a puff or anything like that. And it doesn't even look like you could wear it beyond a couple of seasons because the design is so um, uh, impactful. I feel like someone would see you wear that like two, three years after and be like, that's an old jacket. I actually don't like um, any of this design, to be honest with you. I feel like it's a bit too easy. Friend or trash, we can put this one in the trash. Montclair sneakers, 570 pounds. Okay, so now for me, we're, we're, we're reviewing Montclair, right? I think for Montclair, I think this is good. Do you get what I mean? It's kind of a brand that reminds me of like being outdoors, you know, skiing. Like, do these sneakers tick those boxes? I'm gonna say yes, they do. Based on what I could see, I say, yeah, I would wear it, but if, you know, of all the trainers I've got, this would be at the very, very bottom of the pile. Am I gonna say trend or trash? I'm gonna say because there are, in my opinion, better designers, better designer trainers to get, I'm gonna say this is trash. Montclair and Alix vest, 285 pounds. I already need this. I think the price is great. You know, this is a great collaboration. Anyone that don't know about Alix, like, Alix is a great brand. Like, they're, they're doing their thing. Playboy Carti, Skepta, Drake, everyone, you know, a lot of people are wearing Alix. So, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty sick brand. And they've got their signature, you know, clasps, you know, how they fasten everything. I got a couple good bits from them. But yeah, I didn't know they did a collaboration with um, Montclair. So yeah, I'm gonna say that this is very much trend, man. This is bang on trend. Get it if you can. I need this. <laughs> uh, Montclair jacket, okay, so so this one is £1,290, it's following the same pattern of the swim shorts. I kind of like what they're doing here. It looks like something I'd buy if I've got like a, a lot of Montclair, if that makes sense. If I've got a few classic pieces, a few classic jackets, then if I just wanted to flex, then yeah, I would. But other than that, I think I'd go for one of their more kind of classic puffer, jackets if I had to just choose one. And anyone who knows my fashion sense will know that I like patterns and prints and all these kind of things there. So I think it's interesting as someone who actually skis as well. I think if you're going down the slope, like no one ain't gonna miss you in this and it looks practical as well. Yeah, it's something, it's something I'd get someone for like a present, like someone who I know that skis is kind of into this brand. I'd get this for them as a present. Would I rock it? If someone got it for me, I think I'd rock it. I don't think I'd rock it all the time. Because I like the swimming shorts, I can't diss this, so I'm gonna say it's a trend. Okay, more Montclair sneakers, 430 pounds. With these pair of sneakers, I'd say they're slightly better and more interesting than the other pair of sneakers that I saw before. But again, Montclair wouldn't be my 
my uh, my go-to brand for designer sneakers. And I feel like if you're kind of putting them amongst the Balenciagas, uh, amongst the Dior runners, the Chanel runners, even some of like what Jimmy Choo do sneaker-wise or Dolce & Gabbana, I still don't think like Montclair is kind of punching at that level, Alexander McQueen, etc., etc. So again, I'm gonna put the trainers in the trash. Right, so with this one, I like the red. I do like the red. I, I, I feel like I would have preferred it if it was all red and it was just plain and it just had the classic Montclair logo. But I kind of like what they're, they're doing here. I like the French flag and this kind of new style of logo that they're kind of rocking with. But yeah, for me, man, I just, I'm just i gonna be real. I don't really think it's for me. I think if it was just plain and it was just a classic red, I'll back it all day long. It will be in my wardrobe for, for years. But I think this one is kind of like, like video shoot, do you get what I mean? Like video shoot, quick video with a the man them, just quickly run Harrods or wherever and just quickly grab it, wear it, wear it once for that video and never wear it again. Probably give it to my brother or something. So yeah, just for that, I'm gonna just say trash because I don't want to make it too easy for Montclair, even though my song is called Montclair. Montclair messenger bag, okay, from the offset, I ready. I um, think this is way too expensive for what it is, £335, I don't think it's worth it at all. I don't think they're overrated, I think if you've got the right stuff, the right stuff can last forever. It's pretty unisex as well, so you know, you can use it, your missus can use it, you can give it to your kid one day when they're on their, you know, they're doing their gap here and they're travelling, they can flex with a little designer accessory. But with this one in particular, I'm going to say this is trash, man. Montclair hoodie, okay, okay, okay. So this Montclair hoodie, I don't mind it. If it's got if it's got track bottoms in it as well, like um, I'm excited about this. Um, I like the colour, I think it's quite simple. I think they're doing this the kind of same thing as other brands here, which isn't a bad thing, but you know, they've got heavy branding, it's kind of everywhere. This is a trend for me, and if it's got bottoms, it's even more of a trend. Montclair jumper. Right, okay, this has got the same design on it that the rain jacket had, the one that was like a bag, 15 or something like that. This one is £335 for the jumper. Uh, the the colour of the main jumper, I don't mind it. The red and the big logo, I'm not really a big fan of it. I feel like my uncle would wear it because he'd be trying to be like down with the man them and everyone would say, this ain't the piece that you need to get. But he'd still be flexing with the, you know, the mad sandals and all them kind of things there. Do I like big logos sometimes if it's done right? But in, in this particular instance, no. So I'm gonna say this is trash. All right, so that was Trend on Trash, man. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you go and check out my new song with Tion Wayne, Montclair, out now on all platforms. Bow.